Hi, I'm Catherine Chandacosta, a policy analyst with the Electronic Frontier Foundation. Uh, and I'm Ernesto Falcone, I'm the Legislative Counsel for EFF. And we're here to talk because the Senate just passed a resolution to save the 2015 Open Internet Order, which was the FCC order that enshrined protections for net neutrality, it banned blocking, um, throttling, and paid prioritization. So, Ernesto, with this vote passed, what does that mean? <laughs> so, uh, it's huge. I mean, it's huge because, you know, the, the United States Senate has officially put its stamp on where they think policy should be. And what that means next now, it's up to the House of Representatives to take it on from here. And we're currently in the House. 160 uh, representatives have, have uh, stated affirmatively that they'll vote for this, right? So, it's really important that if you live somewhere where your representative hasn't come out in favor of voting for this, that you go and tell them. Uh, EFF can tell you where your representative stands at checkyourreps.org. Um, so now that this vote has happened and it's moved to the House, what's sort of the time frame? What's the timeline going forward? Most importantly, by June 11th, the SEC's repeal of net neutrality takes effect. So once that day hits, you know, then we will no longer be with these protections and, and the ISPs will then be free to engage in things like blocking, throttling, and I think probably most critical to them, uh, you know, picking winners and losers through pay prioritization. What are the possible outcomes? So if it goes to the House and they say yes or no, and if they say yes, what happens? If they say no, what happens? So if the House, if 200, so going back a step, the, the means of forcing a vote in the House of Representatives right now is your House member has to sign what's called a discharge petition. The reason they have to do that is because Speaker Ryan has officially said he will personally will not allow this come up for a vote. That doesn't mean the House of Representatives will just not vote on it. It just means a majority of the House can override the Speaker. Uh, and as, as Kathy mentioned, 160 members of the House have already pre-committed to signing that discharge petition to move the bill forward. So we're looking at 58 more yes votes, uh, you know, positive affirmative commitments to to vote on this bill. And at that point, we're going to get to the president next. And with 86% of Americans in favor of net neutrality and a majority across party lines, it should be, you would think, a no-brainer. And so you should call and tell your representatives absolutely that you're in favor of net neutrality like millions of Americans are. So if it gets to the president, what happens? Do we know? So no one knows exactly how President Trump will will decide on this, and that's that's to our benefit, right? He he hasn't come out and said he will you know veto this once it gets to his desk, and I think that's because of the fact that it's not just popular with with you know with one side of the aisle or the other, it's popular with Trump voters too. I mean, this is something when you're talking about 86 percent of the people are on one side of an issue, there's very few things in Congress that have that kind of lopsided uh, public opinion, and. You know that really comes down to so, but a, a caution: don't take that for granted. What what is, needs to happen from this point forward is you have to talk to your member of the House and demand that they vote. Yet you know they vote, they have a vote on on the Congressional Review Act. If enough members of the House feel pressure from people back home, which means going to their town hall, picking up the phone and calling their office, writing them an email, and going to their district office. I mean, taking those steps to personally weigh in as their constituent uh, that you expect them to be voting on this. Those are the things we all have to do across the country to make this happen. Uh, a lot of people are going to say there's no way it's ever going to come up to the House, but they underestimate, one, the internet freedom movement, I think. Uh, you know, we're talking about millions and millions of people across the country. And this is still, it's still a political process at the end of the day. And so, uh, with that, the net neutrality is incredibly important. We're really excited that it passed the Senate, and Strongly we want to excited. use that momentum to put pressure on the House. You can learn more at EFF.org, and you can check on the position of your representative at checkyourreps.org.